Wow, meet BMZ Mini Moke. Just look at that. The incredible Moke goes everywhere. Well, just about. And the Moke was made for the countryman. With an east-west engine, power to spare, and front-wheel drive. Hey, look at this driver treated rough. Mini Moke is on display now. Just an incredible $1,295 plus delivery. Well, my fun car is um, a Mini Moke. Um, I went for a 1981 model. Uh, it served as a hire car up in uh, far north Queensland for many, many years, um, and I got it and uh, had it restored to um, pretty much uh, the condition it would have been when it came out of the showroom back in 1981. Uh, There's probably a number of reasons why I bought a Mini Moke. Um, one of them, uh, probably the primary one, is when I was at uni, um, I used to get a lift home from a mate. Very late at night, always in the middle of winter. I'd hang on in the back of it, there was no seats, um, and I'd get a lift home, because I had no money to get a taxi, the buses had stopped, and I fell in love with it. Even though it was in the middle of winter, it was so much fun. In the Californian model that came out, they put a faster motor, a slightly uh, slightly upgraded A-plus motor. So the A-plus is one of the most common motors ever put in any cars across the world. There were millions of them put across. And this one's uh, been increased from 1280cc to probably just over 1400cc. So it's got a little bit more power, which easily gets it moving when it only weighs 580 kilos. Um, I've tried not to modify the Moke very much. I wanted to keep it very similar to what it would have been when it came out in the showroom. The engine's uh, been spruced up a little bit, so it's got a little bit more oomph than it would have been out of the factory. Um, I've also put some racks on top to, uh, to carry my kayak around. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much as it came out in 1981 from the factory. Most certainly the best thing about my car is that every time you get in it, it puts a smile on your face. Um, it is just fun to drive. It's the fact I think it's got no windows, no doors, no roof. It's very simple, but you feel like you're just out in the open and it's a lot of fun to drive. People wave at you, take photos of you. Um, it's be too much of a surprise to say the worst thing about the Mini Moke is winter, probably about the 15th of July, the middle of winter, and when you get up in the morning and you leave and it's very cold, um, it's a little bit chilly in the Moke, uh, probably the uh, rainy days aren't too flash either, so yes. Usually, this is a, a very impractical car, um, but it does fit into the lifestyle because it's pretty much my everyday drive. It does the school run every day, every morning, every afternoon, and uh, on, on the weekends, it's quite often the, uh, the first car of choice. It's great for shopping. You just throw all the grocery shopping in the back. Um, so yeah, it does fit into our lifestyle quite well. Paddles? What are they? Um, not quite sure. So, uh, yes, it's definitely manual in the Moak. Um, there's no luxuries in the Moak, and there's certainly no technology like uh, modern day paddles. Uh, I think.
think the three car garage, um, it's pretty hard to restrict to three, but um, well, the Moke's the first one in there, and that's my, as my daily drive. Second one would be something fairly fast, and the third one would be something I could take off-road. I think between those three, then you'd have a car of choice every day when you woke up. That's a random question. Um, the first conf uh, concert I ever went to, I think, was the Arrhythmics. 1985, I'd be guessing. Uh, Entertainment Centre and Annie Lennox took a top off, I remember, um, and uh, sang a couple of songs without any top on. Uh, I was very lucky, my partner never had an issue with the purchase. Um, but I suppose we both decided that it was time to treat ourselves with something. Um, this was the thing I decided to do and she bought a very big diamond ring, so it worked out well. <laughs>